Hey everybody, Mr. Hartzler here. I wanted to show you in this video how to find volume, surface area, and weight. And this is going to be of a cylinder. In this case, it is a piece of cast iron rod. All right. Uh, the picture up here you can see is 5.25 tall. Our diameter is 1.75. These are all in inches. And you had to know weight density, and that is 0 0.259 pounds per cubic inch. All right, let's get started. So we start off with volume. And volume formula for a cylinder is pi r squared times h. I have to start substituting in the things I know. Still don't know volume. That's what I'm solving for. But pi is 3.14. That's at least the number we use most of the time for our math classes, and even here in engineering. Our r squared, well, r is half of our diameter, so that's 1.75 divided by 2. We have to square that, and then we have to multiply by our height. And our height in this case is a 5.25. We then have to multiply all of that out. When we do that, we end up with 12.6213. That's cubic inches because all of these dimensions were in inches. This one gets squared, so that's inches squared, times another set of inches. I'm left with inches cubed. But we want to simplify this a little bit. So I say volume equals 12.621 inches cubed. That's volume of our cylinder. Now let's go on and do surface area of our cylinder. Formula looks a little bit scarier, but it's not too bad at all. Again, we're just substituting in the things we know. I know pi is 3.14. My radius is half my diameter, just like last time. And it was 1.75. So I divide that by 2. And that's 0 0.875. So that's what I'm going to put in this time. 0 0.875 for my radius. Times my height of 5.25. I have to add to that. 2 times pi, and then it's my radius squared, 0 0.875 squared. This chunk here is the part that is around my sides. So if I go back to that original picture, that would be this piece going all the way around. This end chunk over here. This is all of my top and my bottom of my cylinder. Punch all of that into the handy dandy calculator. You get 33.6569 and that's inches squared because it's area. And we're going to round that a little bit differently too. We're going to go to the thousandths. So 6, 5, that 9 makes the 6 want to go up. So that becomes a 7 inches squared. Surface area is now done. Now I go over and I'm going to find weight. Formula for weight is weight equals volume times the weight density. I know it's weight density, not mass density, because a little w to the right of it. Don't know my weight, but my volume, I found that out in the beginning. And that was 12.621 inches cubed. I multiply that by the weight density that was given which was 0 0.259, and that's pounds per cubic inch. Multiplying all of that, we get 3.269 pounds. Because these inches here cancel with those inches down there. And now I have found weight. Those were the three things we wanted to see. And if this video is helpful for you, please click that like button. If you enjoy seeing this tutorial and would maybe like to see more like it, please click the subscribe button and that little bell at the bottom so you can get notifications about when I put up new videos. If you have a question or comment related to this video or anything else math or engineering related, please leave that down in the comments below and I can try and make a video on it. Hope this was helpful and I hope you have a great rest of your day.